My name is Naran. I graduated with a bachelor's degree from Worcester Polytechnic Institute um, in a double major with biology and biochemistry. I've been interested in biology since high school when I entered at the Broad Institute and just seeing that students like us can do internships like that. This is not something I find in my home country where I'm from. I'm from Egypt and just all the facilities. You can explore science, you can ask questions and it was really nice to basically connect what, what they're doing in the lab and into treating patients. One of the things that you get from having students in your lab is the excitement. So everything is new and exciting. And so a lot of times um, they'll come in and they'll say, hey, I read this great new paper. Did you see this in science this week? And you know, with all the things you have going on, you may have you know, skimmed it or looked at it, but they've really read it. And they have all these great ideas to think about what, what they, um, putting that paper in the context of what they're doing. One of the main questions that Dave is, um, is concerned about is in um, cancer treatment, um, they have found that some cells survive chemotherapy and they become resistant to the treatment. And so we want to understand how to target those so-called st cancer stem cells and um, what are the molecular mechanisms that they're undergoing. So after I worked in the Langenau lab that summer, I actually came back and I did my senior thesis here. I wanted to finish the project that I started. When you find something that you don't expect, that's the most amazing thing because then you can just take that and experiment with it all you want. I think it's very free in the sense that you get to, you, like one experiment leads to another and you get to answer more questions as you go along. Neuron is absolutely fantastic. Um, she's one of those people where um, you just mention it and it gets done. And not only just mentioning it, you might mention you know, a part of or a piece of an idea and you'll go back and meet her and she'll say, well, I did what, I did what we discussed, but then I went on and I did this part and I finished and I, I went on and guess what? You were wrong. It's this way. And it's just amazing to have people like that in the lab. Dave is very supportive. He sits down with me, he explains, I make sure that I understand my experiments. I would like to basically take the knowledge that I've gained from the lab and um, relate it to the clinic. And then hopefully after that, um, pursue my MD degree to become a physician scientist. I find that the scientists who really do something remarkable are the ones who just sort of, you know, throw convention out the window and really try something new. And, and you know, I think Neuron has done that, especially this summer. She's taken on a completely new project. But in her previous summers working in the lab, she studied this protein called TOX, which is a HMG box protein. It doesn't matter too much ex the specifics but there are only seven publications in the world on this gene. And we don't know anything about it, and she's fearless. She took on the project, and really we've learned immensely from her work, and Riyadh Lubardi and my group really tackled this problem. So, yeah, be fearless.